Today's video is brought to you by Audible, and we'll hear more from them later. The High Republic era of Star Wars storytelling is less than a month away. On January 5th, we will see the release of Charles Soule's novel, Light of the Jedi, and Justina Ireland's junior reader book, A Test of Courage. Then on February 2nd, we'll get Claudia Gray's young adult novel, Into the Dark. On top of those books, we'll be seeing two new comic series from Kevin Scott and Daniel Jose Older. I was fortunate enough to be given the three books and were allowed to talk about our impressions, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. There won't be any plot spoilers ahead, so don't worry about that. I just want to tell you what my expectations have been for the High Republic era and how I'm feeling now that it's starting. Just to answer the question early, I'm feeling really great. My expectations are being not only met, but exceeded. I've been very excited for The High Republic because I feel it's time for Star Wars to get away from the familiar. The books and the comics have felt like they've been relegated to supporting roles in the past five or six years, ever since the Expanded Universe became Legends. When the Expanded Universe started, we didn't have new movies. We didn't have TV shows. Books and comics kept Star Wars alive. They got to tell big stories with big galactic consequences. Even when the prequels started coming out, and then the Clone Wars began, it felt like the books and comics didn't lose any of their importance. Ever since the Disney acquisition of Star Wars, the movies once again became the primary source for new stories, and the books and comics felt like they moved in to support them. That doesn't mean the stories were bad at all, I really liked the book Phasma, for example, but so many books followed that Phasma model of being named after one character and focusing on their story. I've been missing the trilogies and series of books legends used to do all the time. That's one of the reasons I've loved the Alphabet Squadron book so much, not just because I love pilots, but because we're getting to spend significant time with new characters. I've only read three High Republic stories so far, but if they are a sign of things to come, this very much feels like a return to form for Star Wars publishing. They reminded me a lot of the Darth Bane trilogy, jumping back in the Star Wars timeline where things feel a little different but are familiar enough. It still feels like Star Wars, of course, but things are different enough to feel fresh and exciting and new. Most of the new characters are still Jedi, but they all feel unique and engaging, and I have several new favorites. The villains are also new and unique and feel like a threat we have yet to see in Star Wars, and I mean that in both canon and legends. This isn't a rehash of the Yuuzhan Vong or like a slightly different take on Mandalorians. No, the Nile are different. A lot of my positive feelings are coming off the back of Light of the Jedi, the first novel in the High Republic era. Right away, I think it's one of my favorite Star Wars novels of all time. It feels like exactly what I've wanted in a Star Wars book these past few years. It doesn't hurt that I think Charles Soule just has a very similar take on Star Wars as I do. If you loved his work in comics, you're going to be thrilled with Light of the Jedi. It somehow manages to be a complete story with a satisfying ending that is also a perfect introduction to this era and many of its characters characters, and it provides setup for the stories to come. A Test of Courage is the junior reader book by Justina Ireland. I normally read those books and think, yeah, that was fine. Those stories aren't written with someone my age in mind. They're meant to be more accessible and serve as possible entry points into Star Wars books for people in their early teens or maybe younger. Its story is more focused, the scope is smaller, but still I found myself pulled in by the characters and their stories, and again it sets up some exciting plot points for the future. Into the Dark is the young adult novel by Claudia Gray, who has a very good reputation as a Star Wars author already. Her story is kind of a happy medium between Light of the Jedi and A Test of Courage. It's a little more expansive in its scope and characters, but not quite on the same level as Charles Soule's book. But it still introduces even more threats to the Jedi during an already troubling time, escalating the intrigue of this new era in surprising ways. Unfortunately, I have yet to read either of the comics by Kevin Scott or Daniel Jose Older, but if the books are anything to go off of, we are in for a real treat. All three of the existing titles feel like they're working together wonderfully. I wouldn't say you have to read every single book to understand everything that's going on, but they do provide a little extra context for each other. I found myself glad I had read Light of the Jedi before A Test of Courage, but I certainly didn't have to in order to understand or enjoy it. I'm really excited to add the comics into the mix to see how they will play into the larger story being told as well. 
And that just sums up my feelings in general about the High Republic. Excitement. I am excited for Star Wars books and comics in a way that I haven't really felt in a long time. I'm excited to see publishing be the backbone of Star Wars storytelling, at least in one area. I'm excited to continue diving into the Arrow with the second novel coming out in July, Kevin Scott's The Rising Storm, which I assume will pick up on those major plot lines set up in Light of the Jedi. I honestly cannot recommend Light of the Jedi enough. If you enjoy it as much as I did, absolutely continue on with the Test of Courage and Into the Dark to just keep that excitement going. Like I said earlier, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is a leading provider of audio content and is a service we use all the time because we go through a lot of Star Wars audiobooks. I love all the Star Wars audiobooks because they're big productions with music and sound effects, so it's like listening to a movie. Light of the Jedi, A Test of Courage, and Into the Dark will all have audiobooks when they're released, or you can get all of the released canon Star Wars books right now by visiting www.audible.com slash Star Wars Explained, or by texting Star Wars Explained to 500-500. If you sign up for a free 30-day trial today, you'll get a credit for one free audiobook of any price and full access to the Plus catalog absolutely free. The Plus catalog contains thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, and more. Once you get an audiobook or audio drama, it will always be yours. You own that piece of content even if you cancel your membership. And if you get an audiobook you don't like, you can swap it out thanks to Audible's Great Listen Guarantee, which gives you up to a year to exchange an audiobook you didn't like for one you're excited to keep. That offer lasts for as long as you're a member. You can use your credit for any of the three High Republic audiobooks when they come out, or all of the other canon novels have audiobooks out right now. If you've been waiting to get into Star Wars audiobooks, the holidays are the perfect, risk-free time to try. Start listening with a 30-day Audible trial. Get one audiobook and full access to the Plus catalog absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash Star Wars Explained or text Star Wars Explained to 500-500. But that's it for today. Let me know how you're feeling about the High Republic in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our High Republic coverage, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.